Hello and welcome to Seabeard. This is a new game on the Android App Store and this is a first impression so let's get into it and see how it goes. So Rudolph here is telling us, ah oh, young Henry, did I doze off in the middle of my story? Seems like you did. Now where was I? Oh yes, the Seabeard. Or Seabeard, I guess this is the tale of Seabeard. Anyhow, as I was saying, these seas were once home to many rival tribes who did nothing but bicker and brawl. Interesting, uh, the great explorer Seabeard, your grandfather dreamed of uniting the tribes. Really nice graphics so far, I must say, nice and cartoony, so um, it's looking up so far. So let's just skip through this and um, get to the end of it. Yes, there we go. Uh, but there is always hope, a seabird's only descendant, you are rightful, your rightful ear of Accordia. Or what's left of it at least, okay, interesting. So there must have been some disaster or something and some sad story. And now we have an RPG game. So yeah, a lot of... It seems construction, maybe there's a crafting system as well. Uh, let's just get into it, taking a while to load, but here we are. Nice, and we're at the port. So yeah, Seabird, this is probably a piratey game as well, not sure, but yeah. Welcome to Accordia, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's get through. Um, pick up root remover, where is that now? Um, nice looking, uh, nice looking world. Nice, really nice looking world, yeah. Um, we have to go there to get the root remover, great. You have to move that out of the way, get in here, and the root remover is here. Nice, so let's get out back again. That's our quest done. Awesome. Talk to this guy again. Um, okay. Uh, okay, I have to destroy the ancient fruit. That's up here. Great. That's how that works, okay. And now we get to see our currency system. Okay, let's examine this. I like it that they don't lock it off. It's a good tutorial so far, but yeah, this is a bit terrifying. Um, where are the prices? Um, let's go to this one then. It's not showing the prices for some reason. But yeah, these are usually cost, these usually cost upwards of $100, like for the big ones. Yeah, I can pretty much assume, let's see, the $5,000 one is about $100 in real life money. That's usually the price of them, and um, yeah, that's a bit terrifying, but yeah, let's uh, get on with the game. Um, I'm sure you can still have fun. Uh, well, that saved us a long journey home, yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, you can see you can earn some of those currencies in-game as well. So there is going to be a lot of grinding if you need to earn those currencies in-game. But yeah, there's always the, you know these games are built, they're built so that you run out of your currency. And without grinding, the only other alternative is to pay them real money. So yeah. Whatever, let's um let's just get in with the game uh, and um see how it goes. Okay, we have to travel somewhere. Um yeah, Mortimer Woodchuck. He is not around here, is he? Um go. We have to take the boat, it seems. Okay. Interesting. Uh we have to go over to Wood Woodcut Isle. Okay. Place slalom. Swipe to change lanes. Okay, so <laughs> since when do boats adhere to lanes anyhow? Um, really nice looking water though. I like the water a lot. It's really cool. Um, okay, we have to go through these uh, gates, it seems. I'm not sure if I have to go through them or run into them, but um, let's not find out. Um, yeah, this is simple so far. A cool little mini game, I guess. Um, I like the sense of depth as well. You're actually going towards the island. That's pretty nice. Okay, so I'm um, done. We got gold. Great, what do we get? We got a slalom pole, what the heck is that used for? Okay, uh, let's get into the new island then and see how this one goes. Woodcut Isle, 4 or 7 p.m. Great, uh, where's this guy? Uh, oh, he's a far ways away. Uh, we have to go there. Can you walk that far? Oh, so he does a quick, a kind of a quick travel, so that's awesome. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is pretty fun looking so far. There are microtransactions which are a bit terrifying, but um, yeah. Let's get on with it. I'm guessing he wants us to cut something. No, we need to scare wet red fox. Okay, cool. Where are these red foxes to scare? Um, let's make him do the fast travel thing again. There we go. Okay, he scared that one. I'm having a feeling this game might not have combat just because it's, I don't know, it's got a kid appeal and right now we're not killing the foxes, we're scaring them. So yeah, that might be a thing. I don't know. Okay, we scared the red fox. Uh, what is this? Okay, that's a picture, no thanks. Uh, that's just a clever way of getting you to uh, use your real information, your Facebook login or your Twitter or something, and get 
to like them or something. Yeah, let's um, not do that though. Let's get into this and talk to this guy again. Okay, let's uh, get through with this. We got some wood planks. And I think we needed the wood planks to do something on the other island. So yeah, let's uh, get back to that island now. Uh, yeah, we need to go back to that island. So, cool. On our merry way, uh, let's go back to the boat. There we go. Come on, do your fast travel thing. There we go. Okay, and we're in the boat again. Okay, let's go to the island. Target range, so this is a different uh, mini game now. That's cool. Looks like there might be a variety of them. So we have to shoot the targets, okay, and avoid the by avoid the bystanders, standards, standards, standards. Yes. Okay, I uh, want to treat got them all. None of those are bystanders. How do you know what a bystander looks like though? What if the fishes are the bystanders? Oh, oh, that's gotta be one. Shoot him. No. Okay. Okay, and uh, the obstacles seem to get harder as you go on as well. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Oh, there we go. Got him. Come on. Bring him at us. Come on. Crap. All of them. All of them. All of them. Get him. Get him. Get him. I think I got more of them. Most of them. Yep. Okay. There we go. Silver. Nice. What do we get here now? So you can see you can earn some of the currency in game as well. So that's a good thing. At least they don't completely restrict you. But yeah, let's um let's get into this and see how it goes. There, I think we have to repair the cabin thing right now. That's the thing we have to do. Let's go talk to this guy. There we go. Okay, that didn't take long. Yep, because we're running through really fast. Oh, you can earn the pearls as well. So that's cool. Where's this house? Um, that thing there. Okay, repair. Come on, go do it. Repair and that costs uh, some gold coins and you can see yeah, this is a famous timer that we all know and hate Yeah, it'll take four minutes and 51 seconds to complete uh, the rebuilding So yeah, that's gonna be a recurring theme in this game I feel so yeah, you know it'll go like you will get to the point where you're out of pearls and the only way to get them is to actually grind or do quests or Pay real money and um, a lot of times the paying the real money will appeal to you a lot, but yeah, let's complete it now um, yeah, whatever. Okay. Woohoo, it's finished. That only cost us a few dollars. What happened there? Oh, yeah, cool. There we go, that's the house built. Great, so uh, we get him back to the ship, I guess. That's what it says. Okay, so, um... What now? I have no idea. But yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of world to unlock here. Yep, there seems to be a lot of world indeed. So, um, yeah, I'm going to end this video now. We've seen what it's got in store for us. Um, it's pretty fun looking, fun, kind of nice for kids, I guess. But, um, yeah, there are some nasty microtransactions present. But, yeah, I'm going to end this now. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want more. And until next time, later.